welcome back to the vlog. I'm Felicia Day, and as always, this is my show. In this week's segment, we explore a traumatic part of my childhood with a very special guest. But first, I want to share my favorite five things of the week with you. Fave five! A while ago on Twitter, I asked people to recommend podcasts to me. One that I continue to enjoy and listen to is called Hardcore History. There's something in the way Dan Carlin describes historical events that really puts them in perspective. I mean, I'd never heard of the Punic Wars before. <laughs> Punic sounds dirty. But if you listen to his three-part podcast on them, where the Romans totally deny and destroy Carthage and all their poor elephants, you may think twice about complaining how bad your commute is. Because seriously, in perspective, we got it easy, ladies. Number two this week is a Tumblr with a seriously traumatic photo meme. It's called One Tiny Hand. I mean, the concept is pretty simple and obvious, but for some reason, it's like so disturbing. Especially since viewer Sick Vicious sent me a picture of myself with one. Yeah, tiny hand codex, please know. Next, people often ask me how I got started writing, what inspired me, and how to be creative. In a nutshell, I would recommend buying this book called If You Wanna Write by Brenda Yulin. For years, I was too nervous to try writing anything, but after reading this book, I started. Oh, and the book was written in 1938, so it's not like this woman is hawking her book on Oprah or anything. I mean, she's dead. She's a skeleton. But her advice is still timely and very inspiring. If you want to be creative at anything, I would highly recommend this book. Number four, some people hate animated GIFs, and they never restrain themselves from commenting how much they hate them every single time I share one on G+. Whatever, I think they're cool, I like them, and I especially like how artist Zach Gorman uses them on his blog, Magical Game Time. He has just enough movement to his comic panels and his video game art pieces to bring them to life in an awesome, awesome way. So if you have good taste, check it out and be sure to support. So for the last of my fave five this week, I would like to take on this idea of casual games and people not being real quote unquote gamers. I think this kind of talk is bullshit. I don't know where this magical checklist is that measures whether you can call yourself a gamer or not, but I think this attitude is elitist and prevents gaming from being more acceptable and mainstream. And the more accepted gaming is, the less likely your girlfriend or boyfriend will complain about your rating four hours a night. They may even join you. When I have a few hours for a casual game, I go to one of my favorite blogs called jisgames.com. They list all the newest games from across the web, so there's always something awesome there to discover. And speaking of games, on to my childhood trauma. This week's segment involves pixels and genetics. Oh, and these movie seats that I covered in Lady Fabric. Check it out. So I'm known for gaming, but little known fact, um, I did not have any consoles when I was a kid. And this is my brother, Ryan Day. Howdy. And we were deprived as children. When other children, we would go to their house and we'd be like, what do you have? You have a Nintendo and you have Mario and you have Final Fantasy. And our mother would say, no, I don't want you to rot your brain. So she would buy an Amiga and let us play Math Blaster for eight hours a day. Mavis Beacon teaches typing too. A fairy tale adventure. So when somebody would say, hey, did, did you play the latest Mario? No, we played Marvel Madness. Shadow of the Beast and yeah. you can't convince anybody that that's better than, than Mario. No, they would look at us like we were the nerds not... of gamer. Like we were. Anyway, so we're gonna heal that wound of uh, deprivation and uh, play through some games that we never got to play through as kids. So uh, our first one will be Streets of Rage, I believe. This is, the graphics are not like they are now, are they? Oh boy. I mean, it's almost, looking at this now, I don't feel like I was deprived. Well, like 20 years ago, we would've looked at this and it would've like, this is sweet. Like, this is lifelike. This vicious syndicate, blah, blah, blah. Okay, start. All right. You don't want the backstory? <laughs> Start. There we go. Ooh, can I be Blaze? Uh, Adam's got a saucy grin on his face there. What is power? Ooh, I don't know what, what did I you just do? Did. Well, you're gonna be who you are. I don't even know who my friends do. Okay, here we go. I think there's three of them you can figure it out. Here, punch, punch. Oh, I no, can punch me. you. Stop it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Stop it! Stop it! I'm on, their, I'm on their side. Come here! Come here! Oh, no, I'm sorry! Oh, your thumb's going down! Well, we really are reliving our childhoods with this. Ah! <laughs> we need to turn off friendly there we go. fire! Give me that. You can't turn off friendly fire. It's like, that's a, at least a 1998 uh, innovation <laughs> in video gaming. Do I want that. an apple! I want the there apple! We go. Okay. I don't know what Why that is. Why would you want a gross street apple? <laughs> that looks Wait, good. that's my street just, apple! What? <laughs> that? Okay, look, I have look, a bottle. I'm embracing him, look, I'm French kissing him and then I'm gonna do a chate over his I get, head. I think I got a bottle. Look at me, I'm holding his waist. My, my, my health is oh. like, my health is like I could use a street apple. 
<laughs> See his jump. Look. Hooray. Hooray. Okay, I'm gonna wreck this phone booth. Stop it! Does that give I you got coins? A pipe. No, that's my pipe. Would you hold a pipe like that? <laughs> no, I would not. I mean, it seems like you would <laughs> hold it lower. Yeah. You're holding it at the end, so it's gonna ergonomically. He's just learning how to be a vigilante. He'll get better at it. <laughs> oh, street apple. No, I want the street apple. <laughs> Dirty, filthy street apple. It was hidden inside a phone booth. Like, <laughs> someone dropped that after they made a call. These are the most acquiescent bad guys I've ever seen. Like, Can you do look. like a triple? Uh oh. I think we messed up. Oh, are we supposed to do it in time? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we gotta go faster. We got 45 seconds. Go. Oh no! Oh no! It's when the... you're a jet, you're a jet all the way. <laughs> it's like, where's Waldo on steroids? <laughs> I found him and his brother. <laughs> Look at that machete. That just seems like a... Oh, whoa, that was a trade-off hip-hugging. Whoa. <laughs> dance, 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 dance. I think my hands are cramping. The I don't controllers know. Controllers are rough. They're not like ergonomic. What do you need them smooth like a baby? Need... Do we get an achievement? <gasps> Those pesky rabbits. And their DeLorean. Did, did you see that still? That is pretty badass. <laughs> Nothing's touching me. <laughs> Street apple. So much denim. Basically, in the, the late 90s, denim was the enemy. I don't know. It's so indeterminate. All right. There we is go. that a birthday cake? <laughs> I think it was a birthday cake. Barrel cake. There's an ill wind in the air, look. An ill wind blows. <laughs> Oops, Ow! Sorry. Collateral damage. My God, bad. I need a street apple. Another clown. No, no, I don't like this. I wanna stop. I would say uh, this is linear progression. I give this game, uh, I don't, the, the storyline, which we didn't listen to, it probably wasn't strong. So I, I, I give was, that one star. It was a half page uh, scroll. Zero okay. stars for the graphics, <laughs> of course. 16 stars. I don't, I, I, don't oops, ah! I don't know my character's uh, motivation here. I don't understand our relationship either. In the la closing oh, moments, oh, I just wanna beat a, the crap out of my sister here. No, it's a street, street uh, sickle. No, it's a street yeah. sickle. I Thanks. guess we'll see you next. Uh, oh! Oh, what? Oh, what? We can't. oh my Here. god, it's Haley Joel Osment. Ooh, look at that guy creeping with his bad posture. He needs. He, he needs, needs milk. Uh, a back rub. What's happening? <laughs> again, Are they our friends? Again. <laughs> I think they're our friends. That is they... great. I like that. If there are. That's a good ending. That's a good ending. Okay, see you next and time. And scene. Oh! oh. I'll be doing retro game playthroughs throughout the year, so if you have a game you'd like me to play, please leave it in the comments. Finally, our question of note this week is from Just Jack, who writes, If you could be an animal, what animal would you be? Mmm, good question. Dear Mr. Jack, As far as animals go, people have said that I most closely resemble a squirrel, even though I don't like it. I am pretty cuddly and adorable, but I don't really like the idea of being a prey animal. I'd much rather be a cat. Cats are independent, they have soft fur, and a passive-aggressive surly attitude they get away with by providing purring and self-sustaining bathroom habits. So my answer is cat. Oh wait, are mythological creatures allowable in this theoretical situation? Unicorn, definitely a unicorn. Sincerely, Felicia Day. Okay, Just Jack, your letter will be on its way. And if you'd like to submit your own question, please email theflog at geekandsundry.com. Okay, that's our show this week. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, and I will see you next week. Bye.